Quavo, Huncho. Yeah, it's been a minute, man, since me and you done had a conversation. I know you've been you've been healing, man. I know you've been going through a lot of psychological, a lot of mental things. So, you know, I didn't want to, you know, I didn't, you know, I don't want to kick nobody while they down. You know, I don't want to do nothing like that. You know, that's kind of disrespectful. Yeah, you know, you're dealing with the loss of a loved one. And the last thing I wanted to do was come to you and talk to you. That's why I gave you your space. What'd you say? You feeling better? I seen you down there at the game. Had your little black, yeah, had the little Timmy hood on. I seen you back there having fun, had your jewelry on. You look like you was getting back to yourself. Right. <laughs> so you just been taking care of the kids, huh? I seen that song. Hey, I seen that song you did. Oh, man, that was nice. The song you did. Yeah, that one you did about Takeoff. I seen that. That was a nice song. I can't lie. Say, that's one of the more good rapping Atlanta boys. Boy, you sounded good on that song. Right. Right. So how's your relationship with Coach K and P? <laughs> you, say, you say your relationship with them better than what you say better than Offset. Yeah, Offset. I just came from seeing Offset. Yeah, I just came from seeing Offset. He brought me over there to tell. Right. I don't know why he bring me over there because I'm going to tell him the truth. What I tell him? What you say? Quake for what you say? <laughs> yeah, he should know not to bring me. I told him, I say, man, all the dirt you done done in your wife. I say, boy, do you believe in God? Have you ever read the Bible? All that dirt you done done in your wife cheating on her. You think God going to bless you and you talking about a contract? But all that dirt you did with your wife and God still let you have a healthy son. Let you bring a son into this world with this woman. Man, he done gave you your blessing. But you're going to reap what you sowed when you cheated on your wife. You committed adultery on that woman after you stood in front of God and told God you weren't going to do her like that. You did anyway. So you, <laughs> you spit in God's face. Yeah, boy, you look warm right now. God can't hear nothing you saying. What did I tell? I told him just like that. I did. That's why you say that's why you never got married. Well, I tell you one thing I say about you. You didn't even know how to treat Sweden. She was tripping. No, she wasn't tripping, man. You know how y'all, boy, there you go. You sound like I said, man, you cheated on that girl. Bad as she is. And then you're going to take her car back. Come on, Quavo, man. You didn't have to do sweetie like that. What would you say? <laughs> she, she, <laughs> you say she got <laughs> she got so many fake body parts. What? <laughs> <She's dead. laughs> Golly. But why is it when we break up with women, we want to talk bad about them? Man, it don't matter if she stand next to the fire and she a male. Boy, stand <laughs> Boy, Lee, sweetie. <laughs> yeah, she got all them fake body parts, yeah. I ain't mad at her, boy. They look good. I tell you, I said to myself, boy, he don't want sweetie. Boy, I let up. And hey, you know she had that McDonald's meal, boy. She got paid like Travis Scott off of that. Yeah. Man, it sure feel good to talk to you, Quavo. I ain't going to lie, man. Right, right. Yeah. Well, man, I came over here for a certain reason. What you say? <laughs> you know, I, I, yeah, I'm going to always come and see how people doing. And then I'm going to come get I'm going to tell them about the things I don't like that they doing. <laughs> Yeah, you did something that I don't like. That's why I'm pulling up on you right now. And I hate to tell you this, but I'm, I'm pulling up on you right now, sucker. Because you did some. Yeah, I went zero to 100 real quick. It's something you did that I just don't like. And I don't respect that you did it. 
how you gonna perform a tribute at the Grammy Awards for Takeoff? I don't care if that was your nephew. I don't understand. How can you find it in your opera the scene? Offset do it than you. I don't want to see you doing nothing that got to do with. I don't want to see you doing nothing got to do with takeoff. I'm tripping. I'm not tripping, Quavo. You still not trying to cooperate with the Houston Police Department about what you seeing. You won't go down there and tell them nothing. They don't have no information from you. This is your nephew. This is your sister's. Go ahead, man. Yeah, you let me tell you something. Don't interrupt me no more, boy. I ain't put my hands on nobody. Yeah, don't don't interrupt me no more. When I start talking, now you gonna talk, and then I'm gonna talk. Go ahead. I ain't saying nothing. Don't tell I ain't gonna say yes, no. I ain't saying nothing. You say what you gotta say, and I'm gonna tell you how I feel about what I feel. These words just gonna come out of my mouth. I'm gonna convict you and show you where you wrong. Go ahead. Okay, okay, I, I, I understand it. I understand about the street codes and I, but let me tell you something. You and everybody need to get these street codes out y'all head. No, no, no. Let me talk. Gunner, T.I., Leslie, 6 9 Boston Richie, Drake, Scarface, all these guys done snitched. It's public documents that all these guys rap a lot records. Yeah, man, they got artists that snitch. Future got a whole album with Drake, and Drake worked with the police when he got robbed in Canada, allegedly. Scarface had, man, them boys had wide taps on people. Man, go Google it. It's out there. So all that old snitching, you already seen what T.I. did. He put it out there, and then he came. Yeah, come on, man. Terrence Gangsta Williams. All of them snitching and telling on dead people. And you telling me about some codes that don't need... Boy, do you see what Young Thug up to right now? I'm on my way to go see Young Thug. Got them boys in there fighting the security guards. I'm on my way over there to go see Thug. But this is what I want to tell you back to what I was saying before you come telling me about some street codes and some loyalty. Boy, how dare you do that to your nephew? You won't even tell the people that you seen arguing with a gun. You won't tell nobody, but you want to get up at the Grammy Awards and act like you look. I can I can see you on stage now. Act like you love him and so I have, I hope you have a special guest. I hope you have Offset come out there because I'm not buying it. Anything that got to do with you, I'm not buying it. I don't want to hear no more of your music. I don't want to see you in no Grammy Awards. And if I find out you on a concert with Kanye West, I'm going to tell the ticket in half and use the end part of the ticket to only see Kanye. I don't want to see nothing got to do with you, Quavo. I am not tripping I'm what you did to, boy, what you did to take off is not right. How you gonna sit up there and say you don't want to cooperate with, with the police? How you think his mama feel every time she look at you? She just want to throw up in a, oh, she want to throw up and regurgitate everything in her stomach. She gets sick to her stomach every time she look at you because here we is coming up on all these months later or what happened to her baby. You still ain't came forward to say nothing. And you want me to have an understanding in my heart? It's still justice for takeoff. I ain't gonna never forget it. And don't you forget it. I'm gonna ride to the end of this. I promise you, i never get up off of it. Boy, I'm on your neck to the date. Man, I'm not buying it. Mm -mm. And I'm not tripping. I'm telling you how you gonna go on the wards. And you're going to perform a tribute to take off, but then you won't even help them solve his case. <laughs> you talking about they already got DJ Patton Lil' Cam. Well, you ain't heard no, you ain't hand over your boy. Yo, you ain't hand over that old Migo boy, Bam. Yeah, you ain't handing him over. Yeah, see, it's 
They proved that it wasn't his gun. You still not listening to me. We need to find out who, we need to get to the bottom of this takeoff thing. But without you going down there, you the reason why DJ Pat and Lil' Cam got a butt. If you would have went down there and stood tall through it all on all ten toes and never folded and stood up for your nephew. And then I have some respect to watch you on stage. When you get on stage to perform, you'll sit on the Grammys. I don't know about everybody else allegedly, but I hope everybody turn the TV off. Because we don't want to see you. Ain't nothing about you that we want to see in Especially looking at you with your grill, Johnny Dane grill in your mouth and your necklace and your bougie earrings and your glasses and you walking around knock needed and pigeon toed at the same time. We don't want to see nothing about Quavo, so help us God. See, I'm adamant about it. You mean I'm adamant about it. I feel I'm always adamant about it when it comes to takeoff because you're wrong.